might be hearing a lot about RT-PCR and CT value in case of COVID-19 patient. What is this CT value and how important is it? Let's understand in detail today. Hello my dear friends, I am Poonam and you are watching Biology Explained. Let's clear one aspect first. CT value is completely different from CT score. In this video, I will talk about CT value. In the upcoming videos, I will talk about CT score. CT value is the cycle threshold value which we get by performing RT-PCR. Now the question is, what is RT-PCR? RT-PCR, more specifically in case of COVID-19, RT-QPCR is performed. Here, RT stands for reverse transcription, PCR stands for polymerase chain reaction and Q stands for quantitative. PCR that is polymerase chain reaction is a process of amplification of a very small amount of DNA. So basically, if we have one copy of DNA, then with the help of PCR in the next cycle, we will have two copies of DNA and in the next cycle, we will have four copies, then eight copies, 16, 32 and so on. So as you can understand this is a chain reaction and the amount of DNA gets doubled each time and this is performed with the help of an enzyme called DNA polymerase. So it is called polymerase chain reaction or PCR. Next is RT which stands for reverse transcription. By this time, you all know that SARS-CoV-2 virus has RNA as their genetic material. However, to perform PCR, we cannot use RNA. RNA needs to be converted to DNA. And this process of conversion of RNA to DNA is known as reverse transcription. Remember, DNA is generally converted to RNA in our body and this process is called transcription. Since here opposite happens, that is RNA is converted to DNA, this process is called reverse transcription. Next term is Q. Q means quantitative, that is we are measuring the amount of quantity of DNA in the PCR reaction. QPCR is also known as real-time PCR. So basically in case of COVID-19, RT-PCR means both reverse transcription and real-time PCR. So first the SARS-CoV-2 RNA is converted to DNA by reverse transcription and then we measure the quantity of this DNA in real time. Now a threshold or a limit is kept for each reaction and if the DNA is more than that threshold then it is detectable or positive and if it is less then it is not detectable or negative and the DNA is measured with the help of a fluorescent dye. So basically we are measuring at which cycle the fluorescent signal crosses the threshold. Let's consider we have x axis in which we have the number of cycles and in the y axis we have the fluorescent dye which tells us about the amount of DNA. Now let's say sample 1 is amplifying and it crosses the threshold at cycle 25. So the CT value is 25. Again the sample 2 is amplifying in the similar way and it crosses the threshold at cycle 35. So the CT value is 35. Therefore CT refers to the number of cycles needed to amplify the viral DNA to a detectable level. Now let's say this detectable level is 32 copies of DNA that is the threshold is kept at 32 copies that is something above 32 will be positive. Now if our starting material is 8 copies of DNA then we will reach the threshold in 2 cycles that is CT is 2 in this example. Again if the starting material is 1 copy of DNA then we need 5 copies to cross 32 that is CT is 5. So less the DNA higher is the CT value. Now how does it apply to COVID-19? So if you have a lower CT value for example 17 then the DNA sample has more viral load 
as compared to a city value which is 35. The city value less than 35 is considered as positive in case of SARS-CoV-2 virus. So if you have city value of 17, then you are COVID positive. Again, if you have CT value of 25, then also you are COVID positive. But the viral load is different in both cases. That is, a person with CT value 17 has more viral load than a person with CT value 25. But very, very important, please remember, this does not indicate the severity of the disease. A person with more viral load might have less severe than a person with higher viral load. It depends upon the person's body condition as well. So, CT value just indicates whether one is COVID positive or not. Hope you have a clear idea now what is meant by CT value in RT-PCR. That's it for today guys. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more tutorial videos. Thank you.